Hello and welcome back to Matt's Reloading Bench. I finally have had a chance to get out and shoot those five shot groups at 500 yards. Now, here's the deal. Normally, I do five shot groups. Today, I'm doing four shot groups. The reason being is that's what I had available to do adequate testing uh, with the amount of brass that I had prepped. So I don't like prepping like 40 pieces of brass here and 30 there. I try and do all lot of 100 at a time so that everything is as consistent as possibly can be. So with that being said, again, I'm doing four shot groups at 500 yards at different seating depths to see which depth is going to perform the best. This first group is going to be at 20 thousandths from jam. At 20 thousandths from jam, Unfortunately, one of the four shots didn't even make paper, but the three shots that are there equated to 1.25 MOA with a mean radius of 0.51 MOA. This four shot group is going to be at 22 thousandths from jam. At 22 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 0.74 MOA with a mean radius of 0.25 MOA. This four shot group is at 24 thousandths off of jam. At 24 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 0.95 MOA with a mean radius of 0.39 MOA. This four shot group is at 26 thousandths from jam. At 26 thousandths from jam, unfortunately again I only had three of the four shots on paper, but with the three shots it was 1.11 MOA with a mean radius of 0.47 MOA. So obviously the actual group size is larger than that. This four shot group is at 28 thousandths from jam. At 28 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 1.05 MOA with a mean radius of 0.47 MOA. This four shot group is going to be at 30 thousandths from jam. At 30 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 1.09 MOA and a mean radius of 0.51 MOA. This four shot group is at 32 thousandths from jam. At 32 thousandths from jam, I have a little bit of a mystery. Only three of the four shots are on paper, and I have no idea where that fourth shot would have went, 
but the three that are on paper are a really good group at 0.48 MOA with a mean radius of 0.2 MOA. This four shot group is going to be at 34 thousandths from jam. At 34 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 1.07 MOA with a mean radius of 0.41 MOA. This four shot group is going to be at 36 thousandths off of jam. Now, as you can see here, I had to add a different colored sticker to the center of my target because with all of the snow and the bright sun, I was literally being blinded and I could barely see anything anymore downrange. So I had to put in that secondary color just so that I could have some kind of darker contrast to the paper. With that being said, at 36 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 0.83 MOA and a mean radius of 0.4 MOA. This four shot group is at 38 thousandths off of jam. At 38 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 1.57 MOA with a mean radius of 0.62 MOA. This four shot group is at 40 thousandths off of jam. At 40 thousandths from jam, I had a group size of 0.8 MOA with a mean radius of 0.3 MOA. Well, that's that. I'll uh, go collect my targets, head back home, and we're going to look at some group sizes. Stick around. After looking at all the group sizes, I start to see that the last couple, um, they are starting to become sub-MOA. Uh, there's no consistency to it but it's starting to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up another set of seating depth tests to go beyond the 40 thousandths. So I'll end up loading up uh, 42 thousandths to 50 thousandths from jam and see if I get any improved results with that setup. So stay tuned for that video when it comes out. And if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, please let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you do know when the next video comes out. And until next time, shoot straight and be safe.